this time, and the Bruins open up with a point. Van Orden, a very savvy four-year starter, trying to get her team back on track. And already better defense from the Bruins. And they came out, they're coming out right now like they were yesterday. They're very in tune with what they have to do. They're not so much worried about the athleticism of the Texas team right now. The Longhorns 23-0 this season when they win the first set. We'll see if that holds true today. And even though that didn't pan out for UCLA, that's the better defense that I'm talking about. The first line of defense, of course, is the block. But we have to establish and funnel the blocking and the balls to the defense. Yogi serves for the Longhorns. Kidder. Too much. <laughs> Tip easily read. And Kidder off the block. And she has to start establishing those smart plays. Kidder's a very smart player. She said she worked on some of that from her coaches and in practice every day. So she has those shots in her repertoire. She just needs to use them. Eight kills for the junior out of Moore Park, California. Back set. Kidder back row, but she's dug up. Ackerman too long again, and the Bruins open up a lead. And for UCLA, I really like that they still set Kidder out of the back row. I really love, even if she is in the back row, she still attacks from that right side. We talked to her at practice today about what she's good at, and she said, you know, I pride myself on being a versatile player. And she does that. She plays all the way around. She's good at serving. She's terrific at digging. Obviously, their top offensive threat. Tabby Love into the front row now for the Bruins. But it's Eggerman who finds a hole in the defense. Van Orden and Nightingale are looking at one another, trying to figure out what happened. And if you can see, they really had a terrible timing on that block. They're going up at different times and not closing that hole. How do they fix that? They really need to communicate better and close that hole. Oh, miss hit from Hudson. And just when we praise the Longhorns for not having errors, they're starting to creep up here in the second set. Short serve from Guerra. Here's Eckerman. Not this time. Love hammers at home. And Gira is telling Love to swing. I've got the defense, just go swing. Tabby Love averaging just 2.6 kills per set in the regular season. She's got three already. She likes that angle, and it's hit or miss for Guerra, able to defend it. Both for Eckerman and Weber, that corner is going to be open for them if UCLA doesn't adjust on their defense and pull it back because they have a long swing. Bruins, though, still with a one-point lead. Here's Eckerman. High toss. Deadly serve that time. But a double hit called. And nobody's arguing that. <laughs> that was definitely something that she just couldn't do anything with the ball. I think she chucked it from her from her left shoulder. Chuck is a good word for what that looked like. Nice pass in the middle, Aquino. 
And another violation, double hit that time for and again, Webster. No argument on that one either. <laughs> <laughs> no argument on that double contact from Weber. Webster, I'm sorry. So UCLA still on top. Van Orden. Webster. Bailey Webster, the Big 12 Player of the Year, had a little bit of a slow start. Her first eight matches was hitting just 210, but the last 21, she's been over 300, close to 400 percent. sticking around. They are much better here in set number two. What's different for them? Again, Aquino is going aggressively and Lauren Van Orden is setting her a little bit quicker. But you see, if you look at the blocking tandem for Texas, you see that Weber is coming in and blocking her. Todorovic, born in Serbia with the serve. Great dig from Guerra. High outside the block and Reeves with a great reaction trying to get her team fired up. They really need to adjust on the block but what a great swing by Reeves on the outside. She went high hands right off the block. She was born in the UCLA hospital so I like to say she's been a Bruin for life and she plays with that passion for UCLA. The tip from Webster. She's doing a nice job mixing it up. Mike Haley gets up. Mike Seeley gets up immediately to tell Lauren Van Orden she really needs to adjust on her defense. That was a perfect block by UCLA. She should have gotten a tip. Kidder with a beautiful swing, and the Longhorns can't handle it. Nine kills. They say her strength is she's very stoic. You don't know if she's killed it, won the point, botched it. She always has that same expression. Very steady. Adams too far. Good idea, but out of bounds. Again, that athleticism from Adams. If she's so far over the block, she really just needs to put the ball in play. So Texas starting to creep up with some errors. They've got more here in the second set, and they trail. UCLA has opened up a four-point lead over Texas. Michael Seeley, the Bruins coach, has been a Bruin for a while, played there for the men's team. He was a setter on their 1993 national championship team. One of the best to put on a blue and yellow uniform, three-time All-American. And guess who he played with? A young man sitting on the other bench for Texas. Eric Sullivan was his teammate, and he was kind enough to share this photo. Can you explain what's going on right there? They are actually Swiss chocolatiers, because when they were playing overseas in Switzerland, they actually had a job as making chocolate. Just outside of Zurich, worked in a chocolate factory, thus the hairnets, and... He said, watch, Eric's not going to be happy that I shared this photo, but they've had some good fun in the wedding for Eric Sullivan and now opponents on the floor today. Texas trying to come back. That was a timely timeout in the first set. We'll see if it has the same effect here in the second set for Jared Elliott. And if you want to talk about adjustments, we see that Texas was siding out 51% of the time in the first set. They're at zero now. Bruins showing some resiliency. And another point for Kelly Reed, who is so fiery for her team right now. Got to love her energy. And that's the energy she had yesterday. And not to continually talk about yesterday, but they really need to be the same team because they came out with a little bit less energy in the first set. And that's probably why they were trying to crawl back into it. Palmer Long. And more errors. Texas with just the four errors in the first set. They've already got six hitting errors here in the second. Adams 
gets the Bruins back in action. UT's all-time hitting leader with a career hitting percentage of 433. How hard is that? You were a terrific hitter at Louisville. You know what that takes. Kidder ends the rally. This is UCLA volleyball right now. They are in system, they are passing, they are communicating very well. What Texas needs to do and what Hannah Allison specifically needs to do is to start to place the ball better to her hitters and that will get Texas back into their offense and then we'll see a battle between these two. Coming in to serve for the first time for UCLA. Meg Norton. Eckerman uses the block to her advantage. Reeves hit that twice on that rally, and Jared Elliott's up out of his seat, but to no avail because the point goes to the Longhorns, but he jumped right up out of his seat to have a conversation with Brian Hemmelbarn.